Hello everyone and welcome to this part of automation testing series. In this tutorial, we will be learning about Faker Library. So let's begin. The Faker Library is very powerful for generating the fake data. And when you talk about the automation testing, so automation testers can create the realistic test data for the scenarios where actual data isn't available or where using the sensitive production data isn't feasible. So by using this Faker, our automation engineer can generate a unique dynamic test data such as name, email, phone number, addresses and so on. Now in order to use this one, first you need to install this one. In order to install this one, you need to go to the terminal here and type pip install and then pick it. So this already installs for, for me. So it will not install on my system, but for you, it will download and install this Fika library. Okay. And now what I'll do is I simply go here and let me create one Python file. Let me name it as Faker library. And the first thing is that I need to import this one. Okay, so from Faker, import Faker. And the first thing is that you need to create an instance of this one. So let me create an instance, Faker fake is equals to faker with the small brackets now using this one we can generate the different data so let me simply go with the print statements to understand and let's print like fake dot so this is you can see that we have month year password file name right so let's go with the name and let's run this one. So first we get Anna Barker, run this one again. We got another name, run this one. We got another name. And now let's simply, let me copy this one from here and paste it here. And instead of name, now let's see the common thing is that email, okay? And now that we run this one, so, so you see that we got a random email or the fake email, another fake email. So whenever I run this one, it will generate a fake email over here. You can also generate the phone numbers. So let me copy this one and paste it here. And simply I will say dot dot phone underscore number okay and if i run this one you will see that we will be getting a fake number every time and now let's do with the fake addresses print this one and here dot i will say address okay and run this one you see that we are getting some address over here now okay every time when you run this one it will give you a new unique value okay and similarly if you want a name of company so simply i'll say dot company and run this one so you see that we are getting this company 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 and there's so many other if you go here and let me show you for example fake dot so passport dob postal code you see this is a very common data which we use in our testing scripts right some feature date some password so for example let's go with the feature date this time so you see that we are getting some date okay run this one run this one run this one you will get a future date over here okay now what else you can uh, do is that you can generate the data in a specific locale as well okay so for that inside this i will say for example fr underscore fr so basically what i'm doing is that i will be generating a test data in the french now okay so you see that i'm getting data in the French language over here. 
what also you can do is that you can generate the test data in the bulk so let me remove these lines of code from here and remove this one so by default we'll be getting the data in english and in order to let's suppose we need to generate a 10 set of data so simply what i will do is that i will loop this one loop underscore and range range and let's suppose range is 10 and inside this one i'll say print and i'll say for example you name you need 10 names okay so name so let's run this one and you will see that we got 10 different names over here similarly if you need a multiple set of data like let me copy this one and paste it over here and inside this one let's go with the email addresses right so email and if i run this one so you see that we will get the, the 10 different email addresses here as well okay dot net dot net dot net okay so that's how you can use uh, this fake fill library to generate the fake data for your automation scale for example you want to automate the registration and you want to do, test this with the 10 different set of data so using this fake library you can generate the fake data and you can test this one we know that we can make our test data driven as well using the csv excel but if you don't want to use a csv or excel you can simply use this fake library and you can create your automation scripts so basically when we talk more about the automation so it's really helpful to populate a database with a realistic data for the testing simulate the user inputs for the functional testing test bulk operations like batch uploads or downloads so you can do a lot of stuff using this faker library and let me summarize this one so basically this faker library you need to install this one using pip install faker then you need to import then create the instance and after creating the instance you can access the function of the methods which will actually generate the fake data and here there are so many available we have seen like name email addresses phone numbers and so on so there are so many things just just like this one if i last time if i click on this one dot so you can see that we have year passport we have time we have city you know we can have some ids here as well so using this one i think you can generate pretty much everything you need for your tests thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial